All right, I guess we can start off with videos like this, showcasing some of the favorite stuff that I like to use in Destiny 2, whether it's builds or combos or whatnot. There's definitely a lot of, of variety when it comes to Destiny 2 builds, even when it comes to PvE, and that's what I love most about Destiny 2. I would like to talk about these gauntlets. They do look pretty dope when you have them on, but with this, when you're using uh, the Void Lock, you'll be able to gain an additional Scatter Grenade charge, and it also enables tracking for Scatter Grenade projectiles. Obviously, on paper, that sounds amazing, but... It's not too incredible, unfortunately. A lot of people have been saying that it's not too incredible or not a little underwhelming. But however, I kind of see this as more opportunities to use Void Lock. I don't see a whole lot of Void Locks around, but this gives me more opportunities to use Bottom Tree Void Walker or even Middle Tree Void Walker. And I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this, right? Because when you have two grenades, you basically have the ability to have two devours, which means you'll instantly restore all your health and all kills that you get will also restore all your health and give you your grenade energy back. Because survivability is definitely important when it comes to, you know, Destiny 2, whether it be doing a raid or doing anything else or whatnot. So by just like running in, taking damage here, you can just kill a shank, get full health, got shot by another vandal. I could instantly heal off of that easily because I have Devour. And I instantly got my grenade back as well. So I have two grenades again. I could definitely throw one here because I'll definitely be able to get one back no problem because I have Devour. The amount of energy that I get back with Devour is also very, very amazing too. Because at this point, like if you keep the ch kill chains going, you'll probably never be able to run out of grenades and you'll probably be surviving for quite a bit because... I definitely see this as a lot of opportunity to make yourself a pretty invincible void lock. And it's honestly really awesome. Nice shot, let me just heal off that really quick. So let's say for instance that you become one shot here. Hold to eat a grenade, and then proceed to kill all the adds in your path, and then you will be able to get your grenade back super duper fast. And just like that, we have another grenade ready to go, just in case we get hurt. We do have an unstoppable healer, it sounds like. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this, and that does stop him, good. And then proceed to kill him from a distance. There we go, we got him, nice. We got him. Get those screams out of here. This one is definitely a little terrifying because of all the screams that spawn, so definitely do be careful on this one. All right, you, you can shoot me. Go ahead and shoot me. Or actually, wait, hold on. Oh, perfect timing, actually. I could use a grenade. Re-engage to get those screams. Damage that abomination a little bit, too, which is nice. Wait for the unstoppable to come up, and then boom. That also did apply some particle deconstruction on him, too, so I can get that extra damage off of him with a sleeper as well. And as you can see, I got my grenade back instantaneously again, having another health kit ready to go. There's just so much use when it comes to this combo, honestly. I could even use a grenade here without any having any um, shadow of doubt that I won't be able to get another one back. Just by killing these Screebs, grenade's already almost half full. I can sum that champion really there. And then boom, we got our grenade back. Just like that. It just so oh, he just moved out of my shot. What the hell? There we go. Uh, let's see if this kills him in two shots. It does not. That's a little cringe. But we still got him. Ooh, careful. Yeah, those guys definitely hurt. I'll use a grenade here just in case. Better safe than sorry. Whoa! Ooh, wow, that was a risky move, but hey, I, I still made it. All right, so we got that guy there. That does not reach him, unfortunately. So we'll get some more as it spawn. I, it's just one sniper, so it's not too much of an issue. Another stalker. That sniper up there. Ooh, he definitely did hit me for quite a bit, so I could just use a grenade there, give myself the full health, and then I'm good to go. And then I can proceed to kill some more ads here to just get my nade back, so I can have another heal ready to go. And then, yeah, pretty much just like that. It's just so nice to have. Just some instant heals to, uh, with you on the go. Just like little, just a little pocket, pretty much just a little pocket med kit on you. It's, it's really handy to have, honestly. Boom. All right, it looks like we have another champion up here too. Whoa, damn, all right. Good time to use that grenade too, hello. That was a perfect example right there. 
And then just almost instantaneously getting my grenade back up again. Is that all the screams? I sure the hell hope so. Nope, it's not. Alright, there we go. Nope, that's another one. Alright, is that all the screams now? Ooh. No, you don't, buddy. I'll use a Nova Bomb on you because why the hell not? And then he should be able to just die from that, too. Just to save up on some sleep ammo, too. Oh, that's interesting. He's falling down. What? Never seen him do that before. What? Hello? Game? Well, that's a, that's Destiny 2 in a nutshell right there. That is Destiny 2 right there. Uh, let's see. So we need to deal with that champion ASAP. I forgot to reload my uh, sleeper. Not good. All right. So it looks like the message is sent that we need to deal with these guys first before even going for the uh, champion. Which it does look like we can do now. Do that to get a stack and then just proceed to melt him if all possible. Just gonna get some of those just to get my uh, grenade energy back because I'm definitely probably gonna need it here actually. Oh lordy loo. I was killed by misadventure. Not sure what the hell happened there but something tells me that the game just said uh sorry no. I definitely want to get over there and give these guys a taste of Reservoir Burst. Here we go. There we go. Oh god, there's more! But wait, there's more! I thought- I think I'm clear all the time, but I'm not. And that's a scary thing. Let's go ahead and refresh Devour, just in case. And then we can just instantaneously get our grenade back. Like, almost instantaneously, which is nice. And it's a good thing that we have Sleeper Simulant with uh, the Particle Deconstructor as well. So that we can just proceed to melt this guy, if all possible. Ooh, that's not good. I'm getting tethered, not good. God, that damage is freaking disgusting. Holy cow, man. Just go ahead and super these guys just to get them out of our way, too. And... Lost Sector complete. And got an exotic out of it. Probably not the exotic that we're obviously going for, but still pretty nice. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning into this video of uh, showing the pretty good uses that you can get out of these gauntlets, like being with a uh, middle tree Voidwalker or bottom tree Voidwalker. And it can definitely have a lot of uses, even when it comes to survivability, which is what bottom tree Voidlock is all about. Thank you guys so much, and I will hope to see you in the next one.